Hi guys, welcome back to Masonic Curators where we are preserving Masonic history through telling the stories of, in many times, the items or the people who affect us greatly in this fraternity. Uh, today, I wanted to share with you something. Um, it is just a little wallet card here. And before I go into it, I will kind of give you what I know. And that is that I know through many of my friends in different jurisdictions, there are different uh, quote-unquote proficiencies uh, that exist from jurisdiction to jurisdiction. I know that in some jurisdictions there is no proficiency requirement when going from degree to degree. A simple, a simple waiting time of 30 days or less, sometimes more, may apply. And then you just get the next degree. Uh, here in Illinois, you are required to pass a proficiency exam. And what that looks like uh, traditionally is this long form catechism of questions and answers and you return it in front of your lodge. Um, they open, you come inside, you stand at the altar, and you have an examination uh, back and forth with your instructor, your prompter, uh, your intender, if you will, and the master will then declare the proficiency satisfactory or not, and then schedule your next degree. Um, of course, with the first degree, you have to do this before getting your second degree, and with your second degree, you have to do this before getting your third degree, but there's nothing that states that you have to do this for your third degree. Uh, in uh, previous years, there has been new standards that have been that have come out, which is an amended or a short form version of this uh, proficiency requirement, and it's limited to signs, words, tokens, points of entrance, all these kind of things. Um, and for the most part, most folks do the long form uh, in my area of the state. However. Um, it is not the same throughout the state. Uh, there are many areas in the state that use an amended or a short form. In fact, many of my attendees or uh, the guys that I mentor utilize a short form. Um, this was an option when I came through, but wasn't ever really talked about. Uh, so I did the long form. I was initiated back in uh, March of 2007 or 2008. I can't quite remember. It would have been 2008, actually. I'm looking at my card right now. Um, I was passed to the degree of Fellowcraft um, in early weeks of April and then returned uh, that catechism later in April and received my third degree in April of 2008. Now while I took a month to learn my primary uh, proficiency, my first degree, um, it took me only about three weeks to learn my second degree proficiency. Um, and then I went in front of the lodge and on August 18th, 2008, returned my third degree proficiency uh, to the lodge. Now, my particular lodge had a stipulation that you could not hold office in any position, including the deacons, without returning your third degree proficiency. Uh, so I did this and uh, went into the line as a steward and then went through the, the various chairs of my lodge over the course of seven, eight years and was master. Um, now, this just is my certificate that was supposed to be in my wallet card. I also have it on the wall over here. I have a larger certificate, but this just says Proficiency Certificate, Waukegan Lodge, number 78, AF and AM, Waukegan, Illinois, to certify that Brother Robert Johnson has received instruction in the third degree catechism and has proven his proficiency therein, August 18th, 2008, um, signed by my mentor, Curtis Carmen, and uh, the Worshipful Master, Brother Timothy Spulak. Um, now, both of these guys were huge in my Masonic upbringing, if you will. Um, we lost Carmen. I, I lost Curtis Carmen about uh, six to seven months after I was raised, which uh, was a, a hit to me. I still have his picture on my mantle here and on my desk downstairs as a constant reminder of, of uh, his bringing me into Masonic light. Um, but I wanted to share with you my proficiency certificate. Um, now I understand many lodges across the, uh, the United States require their officers. Maybe you don't have this, but you have something similar that you can't uh, actually hold a position of warden unless you've gone through some training or uh, whatever that might be. So if you've got a story about your proficiency certificate, proficiency certificate rather, or um, any other kind of catechism you had to go through, or just something neat that speaks to this, uh, make us a video, um, which would be great, and we can put it up on the channel, um, or simply tell us about it in the show in the uh, the comments section on YouTube. We'll look forward to reading those. 
uh, just anytime you post them. Uh, but more importantly, it would be really cool uh, for a video or uh, something of that nature that we could share with everybody else. Um, additionally, you can do that on Facebook on our page there as well. So I just want to say thanks to everybody out there liking and sharing our videos. And thanks for subscribing as well. And that's it. We'll talk to you all real soon. For Masonic Curators, I'm Robert Johnson. And don't forget to subscribe. Looking at you, buddy. Talk to you later.